Hello, this is Scott Thorley with AMS, and this is a brief video to show how to set up your Dymo oil change sticker printer labels for use inside Protractor. Okay, I brought up the Dymo software, so let me show you how to create your oil change sticker printer. First, you want to select the size of label that you have available. So for me, I have these one and an eighth by three and a half size labels. I'm going to click on it, and there's a bunch of already created items. I'm going to pick a blank one that just says click here to enter text. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my shop name and I'm going to do my website address. I'm going to make it slightly smaller and this lets me do vertical alignment. I'm going to align it at the top and for some reason it doesn't let me shrink the text box now but it will in a minute um, now when I go over I can shrink it I'm going to put it right there okay then I want to add two other fields on here um, first I'm going to add a text box that I want just to be uh, next service due and I'm going to center that and move it down a little bit okay and then finally I'm going to bring in another text box size it where I want it and this one I'm going to follow the guidelines from the protractor uh, Dymo document uh, this documents available in the user group under files it shows you a little bit how to open up the software but the key thing it shows you is that when you add any text fields, if you want them populated with Protractor data, you have to right click on the field, uh, do properties, and then click function as variable object. And then on the advanced tab, you need to put the reference name for the field. And at the bottom of this document is all of the fields that you could pull in from Protractor. So you could pull in contact name and address for a key tag, uh, VIN number for the vehicle, um, number of different things you can print out. There's also service date, which is the next service date, the service usage, which is the odometer, or a combined one that is the date and odometer. I'm going to go ahead and use the combined one. So on this field, I'm going to right click, select properties, function as variable object, and service combined. Okay, now even though it still says click here to enter text, that field will be the service combined information. Then I want to add in a logo. So I'm going to add in an image. I drag it where I want it. You have this properties box pop up, and the image source, I'm going to pick a file. And I'm going to pick an AMS logo. Now, in here, the logo looks to have some jagged edges. It actually looks a lot better once I print it out. Move this over a little bit. Move this one over a little bit. All right, so once I've got my layout done, this is how I want my sticker to look. I go ahead and save it. And I'm going to save this one as, um, I'm going to rewrite over this next service test label. Save it over that. Now I go into Protractor, search for the Dymo labels, and these are the ones I already have in there. I'm going to add next service test, and I click on the binoculars to pull in my label. And here's my next service test label. And now I'm on a ticket with an oil change. And the ticket has 74,500 miles on it. And when I want to print the oil change sticker printer, I go up to the utility and print label. And a window pops up. It finds my printer. My label is the next service test. And it sees that my current odometer is 74,500 
and the next service is going to be due in 90 days and 70 and 3,000 miles for a total of 77,500. So I click on print to print that label. And here is what the final label looks like.